Uh -oh. Hello, I'm Sophia Palmer, I'm a sewing tutor, and welcome to the Sew Jessily YouTube channel. Do you have a Janome machine and you've always wanted to know what this does? I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you might have heard of the cardboard trick where if you've got a thick bit of fabric and you put your foot down and it's at an angle, then you can grab a piece of cardboard or a rolled up piece of fabric like this and you essentially lift up your foot, slide that underneath and then it keeps it nice and well straighter than it was before unless you get it the exact same height. So if I try it without and I put my foot down, my foot's at a, a quite a large angle. It's pulling but it's struggling a little bit. If I lift up my foot, put that underneath, just to raise it, make it a bit straighter, it just gives more grip to the feed dogs underneath. Um, so it makes it easier to sew with. But did you know that your machine already does that? So if I start again, put this under, and you can see again, the foot's at quite a large, well, not a large angle, but it's pointing upwards, so it might struggle. If I raise my foot, press that magical little button in, make sure my foot's horizontal when I do this, and then I lower it whilst holding the button in, it will keep your foot horizontal as you sew. Can you see that there's a slight gap underneath? So now if I sew, it already pulls it through a little bit better because it's staying horizontally, so it's pushing down more pressure at the front where your feed dogs are sort of grabbing the fabric to make it pull through easier. Okay, so let me show you from this angle. So you can see that the foot is slightly pointing upwards towards me. You might not be able to from that angle, but I'm gonna lift my foot up, make sure it's horizontal against the fabric and push that button all the way in. Sometimes it, you, you need to wiggle it a little bit, a little bit to go all the way in. And then I'm gonna hold my fabric still and lower that down again. And you can see that the button now stays in and my foot is definitely more horizontal. So now if I put my foot on the pedal, it goes through much easier. And you can see that once it gets past a certain point, um, it pops out again. So it's already popped out again if I lift the needle up um, because it doesn't need to be in after that. <laughs> I hope you found that little tip useful. Um, give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you did. I would love to hear what you think. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tips and tricks from me. Thanks for watching and happy handmade everyone.